Have you ever found yourself at the opening of an art exhibit for an artist you admire and had burning questions to ask the artist but wasn't quite sure which questions were fitting in that kind of a situation? I'm Michelle LeVan, the artist artist, coming to you from the ArtPrintExpress.com studio. And I would like to help you get over that worry and know exactly what kinds of questions are suitable at an artist's reception. In this video, I will cover what to ask and how to approach an artist. And in the next video, I will tell you the one thing that will kill a discussion with an artist. At an artist reception opening, oftentimes you have the unique opportunity to meet the artist. It is an excellent opportunity to understand what the artist intends to tell you, the viewer, about their work. The best way to discover the meaning behind the work is to ask the artist. First of all, you should not be intimidated to walk up to the artist and ask probing questions about the work. They should be delighted to talk to you about their art, as it is the main reason for the artist to be present at an opening. Take a few moments and look at the work, and I mean really look at it, and allow your own reaction to the work to figure out some questions. Sometimes your answers to the questions may seem obvious but the answers might just surprise you. This will lead you to a new appreciation of the art presented. To begin, you might want to know um, better who the artist is, where they create their pieces, and where they get their inspiration. If the show features one artist, there may be an artist biography or a statement displayed along with the artwork on the wall. An artist statement typically is a document that describes the purpose or ideas behind the work display. If this is the case, read the statement. This may help you understand the art better. Then again, it might bring up more questions for you to ask. There is one thing all people enjoy, and that is talking about themselves. And this applies as much to artists as it does anyone else, and oftentimes more so, because through their art, they are trying to communicate something to the audience. It is much easier to strike up a conversation with someone who has something to say about a particular subject. And with an artist, the icebreaker is hung on the wall. Most artists truly appreciate any feedback from the audience and is delighted to discuss their work. Take on the natural questions that come to mind, such as, do you have a studio? Do you do any research when it comes to um, when you approach a piece? How do you find your subject matter? Or simply, why did you paint that? Another fun approach is the questions that discuss their technique. What did you do to create that texture? How do you get that piece to look so real or emotional? The questions you ask should come naturally to you as you consider the work in the show. All artists are trying to make a connection to their viewer and the work should have some effect on the viewer, either bad or good, and both reactions are important to the artist. What kills the artist is a half-hearted, mm, that's nice, or mm, that's interesting. The one thing to remember is that if an artist is at an opening, they are there to talk to the public, and they expect and appreciate questions about their art. And remember, artists are people too, and may be as nervous as you. If you find that an artist is surrounded by admirers, don't hesitate to approach the crowd and listen to the conversation and ask your questions as it seems polite. Basically, you want to follow simple politeness, as in any social situation. If you are in two in a conversation, they are facing each other seemingly deep in conversation, then the talk is probably private and it would be rude to interrupt. But if there are three or more in a group, you are usually welcome to approach and politely ask your questions. Ideally, the artist should keep these one-on-one -on -one discussions to a bare minimum during an opening and should ever be ready to answer any thoughtful questions. So take advantage to learn more about the work and the artist who created it. You might find this insight will give you more understanding of art in general because, as they say, inquiring minds want to know, and I might add that the artists want to tell you about it as well. Now that you have armed yourself with great ideas for questions, how to politely ask those questions, you just need to find an artist reception, which is simple as an internet search in your very area. And there are all sorts of options for artist openings. 
if you're looking for artists to follow, and a good place to start is on group sites, where several artists are represented, such as ArtPrintExpress.com. It is a place to acquire affordable museum quality fine art prints by artists who create art with artitude. So go check it out. The link is right here. I think you'll find something fantastic that will resonate with your soul. And oh yeah, don't forget about that one thing not to ask. Tune in to my next video and I will tell you exactly how to kill a conversation with an artist. And I'll even be use my amazing mind reading powers to answer the question for you with any artist so you will never have to ask it. Until next time, may your life be filled with artitude.